Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael Humble, Seeker of Truth. For Noah and the coming flood. So before we get started, short video today. Just want to say hey and show you a couple uh, very cool things. Um, I, I want to say a couple things. I hear that uh, there's some squabbling among the watchmen. Um, I don't know. Uh, I I don't know, but that's that's what uh, some are saying. Gosh, you guys, we're we're in this thing together. We're all seeking truth. No one knows it all, and we have different understanding, different opinions, different thoughts. Uh, let's all get along and walk in love and. You know, people make mistakes. People, we're just watching for the Lord together. And I'll tell you what, he'll be the first one to tell you to walk in love doing it. And to not be harsh with your brothers and sisters. So, I personally, I appreciate and respect everybody watching and there's some that I disagree with emphatically especially with some of the things they've said lately um, but I love them anyway and uh, just have a ton of respect for those that are watching especially if they're putting effort forth into helping our family watch so uh, let's love on one another and keep watching if you are being harsh and ripping people for watching, I what in the world are you thinking? The word tells us to watch for the Lord. He tells us to watch for him. So if you are not watching for him, that's that's up to you. It's that's personal between you and him. But don't pick on your brothers and sisters for watching. That is just goofy. So, there we go. Uh, we're gonna. All right, let's get to it. As in the days of Noah were, you know, Noah lived nine hundred and fifty years. Genesis 9.29 tells us that. And all the days of Noah were 950 years and he died. Well, do you know that uh, that's the 235th verse of Genesis. And from the Feast of Trumpets last year on their calendar, 9.25, evening of 9.25 it began, it's 235 days to 518. And that's the day we looked at, figuratively now, getting in the ark. And so we're looking at seven days later and any time and all time in between, okay? Seven days later brings us to 525. 526 would be seven days complete. It'd be the eighth day. Father... Uh, occulted Jupiter with the moon on 517 and if we go from there it's 524 525 and that ties some they both tie into Enoch as we're gonna see so I call it high watch days I I don't know what else you call it really but we look at things father highlights especially when he stamps them gigantically. So the moon occulting Jupiter, that means basically it's a conjunction of Jupiter and the moon with both represent the man-child. So, I, I think Enoch, you can say he figures the bride and that's fine. He literally figures the man-child. Um, just look at the language of him being taken to God for God took him and the man child being caught up unto God into his throne 
Either way, man, child, or bride, it's a picture or figure of the rapture. So, Noah's age pins 518. We see uh, in 532, Noah at 500 five years old, the sign of our family, sign of his coming, has has his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Shem, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. In that one verse, it's the 138th verse, and I know some of this is review, there's going to be some new stuff, I promise you. Uh, it's the 138th verse of the Bible. 518 is the 138th day of the year. So two things regarding Noah pinning 518. Interestingly, one thirty-eight, okay, divided by Phi, the sign of our family is eight new beginning, and 518 repeating forever generated from 138 518 the 138th day of the year interestingly 840 so Canaan we've looked at the genealogy in the last video has Mahalalel at 70 lives for another 840 years which is 4 times 10 times 21 pinning day of declaration this video isn't about that or focused on that I had to pause that. I'm not sure exactly where I left off. So, just said Canaan begat Mahalalel, lived 840 years. We know the 840 pins day of declaration. Interestingly, 840 divided by phi, sign of our family, is 518.518, repeating forever. And he has Mahalalel at 70. It happens that from here to day 146, which is 526, it'd be the eighth day after being in the ark, is the 70th day of the year on Father's calendar, the equilux on 317 being the counting point, 518 being day one. The 146th day of the year on the Gregorian calendar Genesis 6 8 is the 146th verse of the Bible and let's go there uh, Gotta find my Bible But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Well, that's interesting cuz Well certainly getting raptured is finding grace and Noah is 51 46 well it's verse 146, okay, so 5146 pins this day, and 5 is grace. So, then the Strong's number for Noah is literally finding grace on 146. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So we have this hugely stamped out day 138. And then the other thing that's stamped out is the eighth day, 146, from Noah. Now 146 divided by phi, sign of our family, sign of his coming, is 90 point... Sorry. Exactly at 9.10. 9 minutes and 10 seconds, which is Canaan. Lived 910 years. Okay, so 50, 146 divided by 5. 90.1234567 repeating forever. In order, same nine digits. And that's more interesting than it might seem so first of all we have 90 for psalm 90 and the menorah 
But we don't just have Psalm 90. 90.12 is where Father tells us to, that gaining a heart of wisdom is learning to number the days regarding the return of the Lord. Tied to 146, which just happens to be the eighth day in the ark, or after seven days in the ark, uh, that's a wow for me. That's amazing. One last thing on here. So we saw that 235. Oh, by the way, as in the days of Noah were, is simple English gematria of 235. And it's in the 235th verse that he's 950 years old and he dies. And then again it pins 518 from the Feast of Trumpets. So if we're counting from the Feast of Trumpets, it would make that eighth day, day 243. Okay, which... Verse 243 is Genesis 10.8. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be a mighty hunter in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. Well, there's going to be a hunt starting the minute the floodgates are taken away or raptured this is basically the same information with a couple different things but I had already made it and then I remade it and I'm gonna fold this because we're not ready for this video to look at stuff regarding the black moon okay so 146 divided by 5, Psalm 90, verse 12. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, which is to divide or to break open. As in the days of Noah and the fountains of the great deep were broken up. Genesis 7, 11, or the Red Sea, the waters were divided. And that's exactly what this shows, the division of the hundred sheep and the division of light and darkness. And Exodus 14.21 is where it says, And the waters were divided as the parting of the Red Sea, figure for the parting of the firmament, for the flood of angels that is coming. It's a flood of enemies. Okay. So that we looked at, gain a heart of wisdom. Learning to number the days regarding his return. One, two, three, four. Tied to the menorah, just like this is the menorah. And one, two, three, four is division. Four, three, two, one, if I numbered it that way, is Michael or Micaiah. It's a form of Michael who is like Yah. Rhetorical question. No one So four three two one thirty two and forty one point zero. Either you know what that means or you don't. We're gonna look at forty three twenty in a minute and talk a little more about it. We also have who comes? Flood of enemies, right? Satan and his angels? Well, Satan is four, five, six, seven. So we've numbered the days to the manifestation of the Lord getting here. We'll know when we know. Tied to Psalm ninety twelve, the division, fountains of the great deep broken up, Satan and his angels coming in like a flood. Don't worry about that right now. <laughs> what do we got at the top? Okay, we covered that. It's Noah found grace. So what about 5146? 
Noah divided by the sign of our family, sign of his coming. 3176 point, so 31, which is message in Strong's. 7654320. 987654320. Repeating forever. Same nine digits. Not the same as the other one, but now they're in just in the reverse order. It's not all that likely for something to generate numbers in exact sequence. So if 31 is message, what and 4320 is the waters of Meribah, okay? It's 32 in 40. On March 2nd, Father told me, tell them yet 40 days and judgment will fall on this earth. And he began to divide the firmament at that time. Three, or, uh, 41021. Okay, and the 32 and 40 pins it. We just talked about 4321, 32 and 41.0 pins the end of the 40 days. Okay, so we have message and then waters of Meribah, the 43,020th verse in the, the 4,320th verse in the Bible, which by the way is Jesus Christ and end latter days. Now. 4,320th verse in the Word of God is Numbers 20, verse 8. Speak unto the rock, and it will bring forth his water. That's exactly what we did, and it's a figure for Satan and his angels getting cast out of heaven. 765. So we got message and waters of Meribah with 765 in between it. Well, we're going to look at that momentarily. I mentioned that the other thing that pins 146, so 526, May 26, 146 day Gregorian, 70th day Father's calendar. 70 divided by 5, 4320, 9876-54320, 9876-54320. Same exact thing, Waters of Meribah. Now we have divine order and new beginning and 765 in the waters of Meribah. So what is 765? Well, it's ungodly. Um, and whether you're referencing the flood of enemies that's coming or what we just saw, Cush beget Nimrod and those that are waiting for him, synagogue of Satan, its last use, number 765, ungodly. 2 Peter 2. Verse 5. Let's read verse 4. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world but saved Noah the eighth person a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly 765 just happens to tie to a verse talking about Noah and the flood Interestingly, the word person, I'm not suggesting we scrap it because this is a work of perfection by our Father, Almighty God, the God and Father of our Lord, Savior and King, Jesus Christ, our God and Father. If so be you have the Spirit of Christ in you, if you do not, you can take him as your Lord, Romans 10:9. Confess him as your Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Now shalt be saved. Saved from the wrath to come. This word person though stands out because it's in italics. Meaning it was added. 
paused again, uh, so not exactly sure, but I know we were talking about the word person. It's in italics, which means it was added by the translators. Now, I am not suggesting it's not one of Father's words, because he inspired him to add it. It's his word. Every word. Every letter. King James Version Bible. Overseen by God. To a mathematical degree of perfection. That's one thing about understanding the numbers and how he uses them. Now, I don't, or slash we don't, hold perfect understanding of that, but, oh, he continues to teach us more and more. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So, person is added, and that's significant because the way it would read then, and Noah spared not the old world, but saved Noah the eighth. The eighth. We're looking at the eighth day. After seven days in the ark. Pinned by 146, 146 day. And Noah found grace. Noah 51, grace 146. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. This might become really interesting if we're still here come 527. So we're not going to get into it right now. Yeah, 528. But we will be talking about this if we're still trying to figure it out. Of righteousness, 1343. If you've been following along, this number should jump out at you. One, Father, four, Jesus Christ, and 343. Three, two plus 63 plus 248. My birth in the minute I was born, 146. Three, two plus 63 plus 51, Michael. Speaking of Michael, 34, 13. 34 in 13. You can look that one up if you care to. Bringing in the flood. First use of that, Matthew 24, 38. Second, Matthew 24, 39. Let's go there. For as in the days of Noah were, for as in the days that were, that's 2037, 38 follows it. For as in the days of Noah were, before the flood they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hmm. Interesting. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. I just heard a prominent teacher on end times. Heard a video. Saying this is this has to do with second coming, which they define as the very end where Christ comes back with the saints and it divides good from evil the good guy from the evil guy no it absolutely is not sorry it's okay with me if you want to think that but it's inaccurate because the flood begins great tribulation it is great tribulation starting with Jacob's trouble Okay, and the rapture is the removal of the floodgates, the restraint, which is the spirit of God in Christ in us, the believers, the 99 sheep, the bride. 
floodgates removed, flood comes. That's the rapture. That's what this is talking about. From no one knows the day and hour to one shall be taken and the other left. Because it's a two-part gathering. And when you see two like that, it references the children of the day and the children of the night. The 99 sheep and the lost sheep. The two pillars on Solomon's temple. The two cherubim on the Ark of the Covenant. The three branches on this side, three branches of that side on the menorah. Same figure over and over and over and over. And I could keep going and going. <laughs> and I guess I just did. But we could keep going. Same figure. 99 sheep saved from the wrath to come. Lost sheep going into Jacob's trouble, into great tribulation. And there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world 186 times of the ungodly. There's that 765. Interestingly, this 186 times here. Well, number 32, angelic. It refers in general to angelic, including Satan and his angels, depending on the context. And in this context, that is the flood coming upon the world. Lastly, talking about Enoch for a minute. In Genesis 5, verse 24... Verse 23, and all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. Let's back up. Verse 21, and Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. Well, we go back all the way to verse 18, 518, we first see Enoch introduced. And Jared lived 162, five years, and he begat Enoch. 518. The seventh day later, you know, sixth day, unless you count 18th as day one, we get to 524, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. That makes 524 an interesting day to watch as well. 144th day of the year on Father's calendar, i sorry, on Gregorian calendar. 68th day on fathers. What else is interesting is there's a rabbinical tradition. I'm, the word of God is my source. Not the book of Enoch. Not rabbinical tradition. But that doesn't mean there's no truth whatsoever in those sources. It means... They're not protected by Almighty God, especially because um, rabbinical tradition uh, or doctrine can be quite satanic, depending who's giving it and when, especially these days. According to the Word of God, this generation is the worst that's ever been. And they made covenant with Satan. But rabbinical teaching or tradition of old holds that Enoch was born on what they're calling Pentecost and that he was taken up or raptured on exactly the same day at the same time. That's interesting because our father's all about full circle. And their Pentecost, which they're considering as the same thing as the Feast of Weeks, 
is starts in the evening of 526 and goes to the or 525 sorry and goes to the evening of 526 the seventh and eighth day in the arc per pattern now depending which of their calendars you use you can add another day and go 26 27 maybe even to 28 i don't there's a few versions of their calendar that vary interestingly that would mean at least per hebcal hebrew calendar that enoch was taken 526 525 slash 526 and he's patterned in 524 i would call those high watch days this is me and some of you the sixth of Sivan 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 a couple other notes here just interesting and we get through that genealogy to Noah and it brings us back to verse 138 518 that's it for today keep looking up the Lord is coming any minute any day we don't know the day and hour it doesn't say that we don't have a clue in fact it says we do and it's all through the word of God it's any minute any day glory to God in the highest Glory to his son, Jesus the Christ. Blessings to you. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.